Deputy Minister for Youth and Sports, my brother and my able, hard-working Deputy Minister, Honorable Ivan Sopukubobie, Deputy Minister for Information, Honorable Fatih Abubakar, the Commissioner of, for Health, Humanitarian Affairs and Social Development, Ambassador Minata Samati Susuma, who happens to be the chairperson for the Accra 2023 African Games, the LOC Executive Chairman, Dr. Kokufu Suasare, the Chief Operating Officer, Dr. Emmanuel Osu Asare, the Deputy Chief Operating Officer, Mr. Rex Bruby, the Major General Naza, my father, who is the Chair, the President for the Association of African Sports Co Confederation, the GOC President, Mr. Benunu Mensa, the Board Chair of the National Youth Authority, the National Sports Authority and other board members, the CEO of the National Youth Authority, Mr. Payos Hainam Ajide, the Director General for the National Sports Authority, Professor Chumesi, staff of the Ministry of Youth and Sports and also staff of the Ministry of Information, friends from the media, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all of you. It is a great honor to be here once again to make a presentation to the press and the entire country on the updates of Ghana's preparation towards hosting the 13th African Games Accra 2023, Sports and Youth Development in Ghana. Before I proceed, I wish to indicate that I'm supported here by my able Deputy Minister, Honorable Ivan Sopoku Bobie, the Chief Director, Mr. William Kate, the Chief Executive Officer of National Youth Authority, Mr. Pius Enam Hajide, the Director General of the National Sports Authority, Professor Peter Chumesi, the Director for Winneber Sports College, Mr. Noah Bukari, the President of the Ghana Football Association, Mr. Ket Edwin Okriku, the Ghana Olympic President, Mr. Benu Numensa, the Executive Chairman of the Local Organizing Committee of the 13th African Games, Dr. Koku Ofosu Asare, the, the Commissioner I mentioned earlier for the, of the AU for Health, Humanitarian and Social Affairs Development, who, who also happens to be the Chairperson of the Technical Committee for the African Games. She's here with us to also respond. She has done inspection and she will be here to support me. All other members are here to support, to answer questions that will be asked after my presentation. The outline of my PowerPoint presentation will include the mandate of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, policies and legislations, the 13th African Games, sports development, youth development, and the way forward. Honorable Deputy Minister, ladies and gentlemen, the mandate of the ministry is to initiate for and formulate youth and sports policy, as well as coordinate and evaluate the efficiency, the effectiveness of the performance of the sector to achieve national integration and international recognition. This, I believe, with my able team, we are on the right course. Policies and program. The National Sports Policy and the, and the LI for the Sports Act 2016, Act 934. The Ministry is in the process of drafting, drafting a national sports policy. The policy, when finalized, will serve as the bedrock for all sporting and physical activities with the necessary collaboration for the achieving of the policy goals and outcomes. A draft of the policies available in an, an awaiting finalization. A draft legislative instrument for the Sports Act 2016 at 934 is earnestly being worked on. pre laying of the draft LI has been done and currently at the Attorney General Department for finalization before the final laying in Parliament. The National Anti-Doping Bill, as part of the preparation 
towards hosting an organization of the 13th African Games, Accra 2023, the bill of establishing national and doping agency has been prepared. Federal to that, a consultative meeting was held on the 24th of June 2022 to solicit views and opinions from all stakeholders into the draft bill. Currently, the draft is at the Attorney General Department for finalization. The Ministry has broadened the scope of the youth sensitization on the bill and also anti doping issue clean sports in the second cycle schools from three schools to eight schools. The President of the World Anti Doping Agency, WADA, Mr. Wutud Banka, paid a three day working visit to Ghana to help strengthen anti doping in the country. His visit was also to help facilitate the establishment of anti doping agency in Ghana. Ghana to host and organize the 13th African Games, Accra 2023. The aim of hosting and organizing the 13th African Games are the main aim of hosting and organizing the 13th African Games is to use sports to achieve national and continental goals, especially to contribute to Ghana's transformational agenda and the African Union Agenda 2063, the Africa we want and also to improve sports infrastructure deficiency in the country, and lastly, to position Accra as a sports hub in West Africa. Resolution of challenges. The long-standing impasse between the African Union, the Association of the National Olympic Committee, the Association of the African Sports Confederation has been resolved amicably. The resolution reached after a series of meetings made by government of Ghana, Stakeholders have since signed negotiated agreements on the management of and organization of the African Games, making it a significant milestone in the, in the planning of the 13th African Games. The signing took place on the February 19th, 2023, in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. Through the intervention of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adudankwe Kufuado, Ghana secured the necessary funding from Afro-Asian Bank to complete the infrastructure for the project. Provision of sports infrastructure, the hybrid model. Work is currently ongoing at the two different locations with three number EPC contractors. A hybrid model was adopted to provide the required sporting infrastructure at the University of Ghana campus and Baltimore due to the delay in the planning process and costs, project cost consideration. The EPC contractors include Marcel's Contractor Construction UK Limited, which is a contractor working at the Baltimore site, Marcel's Consul Limited, the contractor working at the University of Ghana campus, and Marcel's Marooms Limited, also the contractor working on the Games Village at the University of Ghana. Sports code for the 13th African Games, Accra 2023. In all, 22 sports disciplines will be competed in, out of which Olympic qualifiers will be seven, and non-Olympic qualifiers will be 15, seven sports disciplines will be used as a demonstration sports. The Olympic qualifiers sports are badminton, Cycling, swimming, table tennis, tennis, triathlon, and wrestling. The non-Olympic qualifiers you can see on the screen, arm wrestling, athletics, beach volleyball, boxing, cricket, football, handball, hockey, judo, karate do, rugby, volleyball, weightlifting, basketball, taekwondo, and we have demonstration sports. We have esports, martial arts, speedball, sambo, tech ball, scrabble, and pickleball. So these are the demonstration sports that will be showcased during the games. Provision of sporting infrastructure. The major facilities 
facility currently ongoing at Botima by Marseille's Contractor Construction UK Limited comprises the following. A 100-seater competition swimming pool, and that is 10-lane competition swimming pool, 8-lane warm-up pool, a 1,000-seater multipurpose hall for games like basketball, table tennis, boxing, badminton. And we have 500-seater multipurpose hall for handball, volleyball, judo, and other indoor games. We are also developing a five tennis courts, which will comprise one center court complex with a permanent covered spectator stand for 1,000 seats, including 20 VVIP viewing seats, and four tennis courts with benches. One six-lane athletic track with benches for coaches and athletes, one international FIFA standard uh, training field, one space for children playing, playing ground, administrative block, equipment associated with the infrastructure development and furniture. New dates for the 13th African Games. Following the resolutions of the impasse, the 13th African Games Local Organizing Committee, led by Dr. Koku Fosuasari, organized a press briefing to announce the new dates for the Games as 8th to 23rd March 2024. The schedule for the Games are as follows, and you can see them on the screen. Arrival of athletes and official, officials from 5th to 7th March 2024. Opening ceremony will be done on the 8th of March 2024, and closing ceremony will be done on the 23rd of March 2024. Departure of athletes will be on the, on the 24th of March 2024. And you can see progress of work on the screen. You can see the conceptual design and the evidential uh, photos of progress of work at the various uh, infra infrastructure on the screen. The, the, this is the University of Ghana, the University of Ghana Stadium, and uh, you, we have medical dome, uh, which I'll come to it at the, uh, under the distance. This is where the dining facilities and the medical domes will take place. Okay. So you can see the University of Ghana Stadium there, and also uh, other infrastructure on the screen. This is how it will look like when we finish. The construction is currently ongoing at the bottom site, and this is how the bedrooms are going to be like. And uh, we, are, we are developing the hostels to, at the University of Ghana to serve as the Games Village. And this is part of the construction currently ongoing. Benefits of hosting the Games of the 13th African Games. Financial benefits. For the two weeks period, Ghana is estimated to have over 2.5 billion TV and online viewing audience. It will also give opportunity for us to strengthen our currency, that's the Ghana CD, because most of this uh, participating, all the 55 countries that will be participating in the African Games, their teams are going to come here and they will be using our local banks here to ensure that they transfer their currencies that they will be, or the money that they will be using during the games, and this will go a long way to strengthen our, our currency. We also have foreign direct investment inflows, the construction of hostels and hotel facilities. Once we finish this sports complex at the university uh, at Botima, we intend to ensure that we have hostel facilities and hotels around these facilities. And this will, under the PPP arrangement that we'll be doing, to position Botima as a sports hub. And Accra as a sports hub, as I said, is one of our aims of uh, hosting the games. It will also, those facilities will serve as recreational centers for, for our country. And Ghana will also save money in terms of pre-tournament campaign for our national team. As you are all aware, we have more than 50 federations, and these federations, when they have national championship and international 
championship, continent, whether continental or global, they will have to camp and prepare. And once we have all these facilities, they don't have to go anywhere again. They will have facilities to prepare themselves so that when they represent our country, they can win us medals and laurels. We have socioeconomic benefits. In the long term, the, the sports facilities will be converted into the University for Sports for Development, and this will attract students from both within our country and international students. Potential of frequent hosting of international games by our federations. I mentioned we have almost 50 federations, and day in, day out, they keep on knocking at my doors of, for us to give them opportunity to host events. Once we have these facilities, we will give them more opportunity to host continental events and it will bring in traffic of sports tourism into our country. Potential of de uh, development of sports career and specialization of professionals. This African Games is going to also position us to get most of our professionals to also have specialization. For example, the medical field, you have people who will also now be get an opportunity to learn and also to specialize in sports medicine so that going forward they can also have opportunities in other continental and global sporting events. Transfer of knowledge during the games and also promotion of our local culture, which is very important. The games will also unearth talent and the games will inculcate the spirit of volunteerism among the youth. During the games, we will be engaging more than 2,000 volunteers. And once we are going to engage these volunteers, they are going to go through training and they to inculcate the spirit of volunteerism among these young men and women who will be given opportunity during the games. Hosting and organization of the 2023 African Para Games. The 2023 African Para Games will be the first edition of the Afri pa African Para Games and will be hosted in Ghana from the 3rd to 12th September 2023. And these games, this will be the first time that Ghana in the whole African continent that we are organizing a separate para games aside the main African games. Because most of the, the games that we have organized in the past, during the games, the para games would uh, be done during the games. But this time, Ghana is going to give opportunity to the para uh, this team to organize the game separately. And it will be used as a test case for the main games which will come in March next year. The three sports code that will be participated in are uh, 22, 22 uh, by 22 countries are uh, amputee football, wheelchair basketball, and wheelchair tennis. An expected number of participants for the games, and I'm talking about the para games, will be about 1,314. And this will include, this is include athletes, confederation heads, and volunteers. So thank you so much, the president of the Africa Para uh, uh, team, Mr. Samson Dean, for this wonderful work that you and your team are doing, and also the Ministry of Youth and Sports uh, staff. And let me use this opportunity to appeal to corporate Ghana and the corporate world to support and sponsor uh, most of these games, especially the para games and the African games. Promotion of green games. The 13th African games will be adopted as a green game strategy, which will focus on reduction of waste, uh, uh, waste emission, water conservation, sustainable transportation and recycling. So we are, as a country, we have decided with the, uh, the technical committee for the African games that this game should be a green game strategy. And the green games means that we need to make sure that climate change are now becoming major issues and we can organize this mega sporting event in our country without considering green issues. This strategy will aim to make the event a model of sustainability and environmental friendly, show, showcasing our commitment to creating a positive impact on the environment whilst hosting a world-class sporting spectacle. By adopting eco-friendly practices, renewable energy source, 
and community. So in the construction process, we've asked the contractors to ensure that uh, they use a renewable energy mix in, the, in, 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 in their construction in, in, in the provision of these uh, uh, spotting facilities. And we envisage leaving a, a lasting legacy of environmental consciousness for the future generation. International engagement. Team Ghana will be participating in the 2023 World Athletic Championship, which, is, which will take place in Budapest and Hungary from 19 to 27th August. And the team is currently preparing to represent our country in Budapest. The top Commonwealth Games. Team Ghana successfully participated in the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, UK from the 27th July to, 20, to 8th August 2022 and won a total of five medals comprising two silver and three bronze. Abraham Mensa and Joseph Comey won silver medals each in boxing in the bantamweight and the featherweight respectively. Abdul, Abdul Wahid Omar, lighterweight, picked a bronze medal, and Joseph Paul Amo and Deborah Aqua won bronze medal each in the 200 meters and long jump, respectively, in athletics. World, world, world Cross Country Championship. Ghana made a history at the World Cross Country Championship held in Bathurst in Australia, Australia from the 16th to 19th February 2023, William Amponsa placed for 41st out of 1,000 athletes with time of 32 minutes. And in the female race, Abdullah Ramatu placed 82nd out of 1,000 athletes with time of 32.27 uh, seconds. National Cross Country, the National Sports Authority successfully organized the 2023 edition of the National Cross Country on the 5th of, 25th of February 2023 as Savuk in the Northern Region, and a number of promising talents were identified for further grooming and training in the preparation towards Ghana hosting and participation in the 2023 African Games. William Amponsa once again cemented his position as the current king of Ghana Cross Country event when he clinched the first position in the main category. Bowling, Festus Annan and John Glee, Glee won medals of merit at the African Development Bowling Championship held in South Africa from 14th to 20th February 2023. Festus had the best cumulative points, whilst John was recognized for his telling performance as a first timer. Fencing. The national fencing team won a total of 16 medals comprising two gold, six silver, and eight bronze medals at the 2023 Cadet Junior African Fencing Championship held at the Trust Emporium in Accra here from 15 to 21st February 2023. Para Championship. Ghana Junior Para Athletes Benedict Opoku Abebrese won gold medal in the long jump event at the 2023 Para Championship jointly organized by the South African government and Commonwealth Sports in South Africa from 14th to 18th March 2023. And the championship was meant to prepare the Africa Para athletes adequately towards the 2023 Trinidad and Tobacco Commonwealth U Games slated for next month. Weightlifting. Winifred Intumi won the th th three medals comprising one silver, two bronze at the African Senior Weightlifting Championship held in Tunis, Tunisia from 11th to 20th May 2023. The event was one of the qualifiers for Paris 2020, for the Olympics Games in Paris 2024. Cycling, the third edition of the 3FM Tour du Ghana event was organized by 3FM in collaboration with the Ghana Cycling Federation and the Ministry of Youth and Sports on the 20th May 2023. And uh, uh, I want to use this opportunity to appeal to the media houses here and those who could not make it here to collaborate with our federation in organizing some of this championship in our country. 
Over 120 cyclists rode from Accra, West Hill Mall, to Cape Coast Chapel Square in Central Region. This is an annual competition to test the skills and potential of riders in Ghana, Freeman Puha, from the Die Hard Cycling Club, emerged as the winner for the championship. Arm Wrestling. The Ghana Arm Wrestling Federation hosted the 12th African Arm Wrestling Championship in Accra from the 21st to 24th July 2023 at Nath Hall. The Golden Arms of Ghana was a judge, the overall winner, with 132 medals. The championship was a qualifier for the African Games. 18 countries from Africa competed in the championship, including Ghana. Swimming. Ghana number one swimmer, Abeku Jackson, put up a splendid performance to win gold and a silver medal in the 100 meter butterfly and 50 meter butterfly with a time of 53.89 seconds and a 24.08 seconds respectively at the Ghana Senior Champ African Championship held in Tunis, Tunisia from 20th to 25th August 2022. Youth Chess Championship. Africa under eight Youth Chess Championship Joshua Obri Yabua Tando won a silver medal of Africa under eight youth championship. And uh, you can see him being crowned at Zambia Lusaka from the 10th July, 2nd July to 10th July 2022. World 2023 Special Olympic Games. Ghana participated in the 2023 Special Olympic Games in Germany. And Laurie Maria Zalo won the silver medal in 200 meters and won bronze medal in 100 meters. Comfort, Edinkra won bronze medal in table tennis. Sandra won bronze medal, which is Ghana's first medal in table tennis in the history of the Special Olympic Games. Over 100 and 70 countries competed in the 26th sporting uh, discipline. Capacity. The National Sports College, in collaboration with the Sports for All Association Ghana, organized a basic fitness instructor course for 21 participants from 20th, 25th to 30th March 2023. Now, youth development. The youth capacity development Launch of the 2022-2032 national, <clears throat> national Youth Policy and Implementation Plan. The 2022 National Youth Policy by the His Excellency the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Adudan Kwekufuado, on the 12th of March, August 2022, at the first National Youth Conference held at Anakazo, Equiapiman Point, the Eastern Region, to climax the 22 the 2022 International Youth Day celebration. The annual, the annual, the, the maiden annual National Youth Conference was held to coincide with the commemoration of the last year International Youth Day and the launching of the National Youth Policy. The conference attracted 500 participants from across the country to express their views on the prevailing youth development issues and exchange purposeful ideas as a way of encouraging the youth to take active part in national discourse. Commonwealth Youth Participation. The authority facilitated the participation of four young people comprising one male, three female, at the Commonwealth Youth Forum in Kigali, Rwanda from 19 to 21st June 2022. The Commonwealth Youth Forum is a usual side event of the biannual Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, which offer young people the opportunity to deliberate and, and present youth pers perspective on topical issues and ideas of the Commonwealth nations. The National Youth Authority, through its skills towards employability and productivity step program, empowered 540 youth to benefit under the program through apprenticeship training provision of startups 
in cosmetology, hairdressing, dressmaking, satellite dish installation in 25 selected districts across the 16 regions of Ghana. The National Youth Authority, under its program Youth, Ag Youth, Youth Upgrade Enterprise Support Project, has achieved the following. 200 young people in the Sunafu North provided with skills and knowledge in mushroom cultivation, and 50 young rice farmers provided with good agronomic practice at Sankore in the Sunafu South District. 17,873 adolescents rich and synthesized with adolescent sexual and reproductive health information in Tamale, Birin, Central, Nkwanza North, Wenchi, Atiribu, Amantin District. Thousand students of Ola Girls, Ola Senior High School in Kenya City, in Ahafo region were educated on courses detection and prevention of cervical cancer. As part of the launch of the National Youth Volunteer Program in April 2022, the National Youth Authority has rolled out three models, youth in development work, gender mainstreaming, and also infrastructure volunteers in some selected com communities in Ghana. In line with the empowerment process, an orientation and training workshop was held in Kofudria from 13th to 17th September for the two badges, 458 respective volunteers drawn from 16 countries of the country equipped them with requisite skills and mindset training for their assignment to their respective communities across the country. National Youth Volunteer Program, the capacity of 60 youth influencers, influencer volunteers have been built in communication and advocacy skills on adolescent sexual reproductive health in the Upper East and Upper West regions of Ghana and the gender mainstreaming model. That's under the gender mainstreaming model. 52 volunteers are currently under the youth development work model comp complementing staff strength of the National Youth Authority at the various offices across the country. 50 young volunteers renovated a dilapidated six classroom block and head teachers office staff common room, ICT room built in Abome, in the eastern region of Abome community in the eastern region under the infrastructure you built its model. Youth resource centers. The phase two of the six targeted youth resource centers are near completion, and from next month, I've been briefed by the National Youth Authority CEO and the consultant that will start commissioning, especially Azim, uh, Dunkaofen, Doma Hinkru, Wa, Kufudia, and Hu. These are almost, they are almost done, and we are just about to commission them. The rest of the four, and that is Navrongo, uh, Enyinenyini, uh, Azuma Nelson, and Yindi. will be working on them very soon. The phase two will be starting. Some of them have already even started. And we are working hard to ensure that we get uh, the average rate of completion is 92%. And we, we, we are working on them to get all the youth resource centers in place. And you can see the pictorial evidence on the screen. Ghana participation of the 2023 ECOSOC Youth Forum. During the 2023 ECOSOC Youth Forum, I highlighted the importance of Ghana youth, Ghana's youth in achieving the sustainable development goal. I emphasize on the government commitment to empower young people through various initiatives, including the National Youth Policy and the National Youth Volunteer Program. I also stress the need for meaningful youth participation decision-making process and call for financing mechanisms to support youth initiatives. I highlighted the significance of partnership with the United Nations to accelerate level action on youth 
urging for resources, investment, and collaboration to drive to achieve to drive the achievement of the SDGs. Ghana proactive approach towards youth empowerment and development showcase Ghana dedication to harnessing the potential of its young population for the nation's progress. American football introduction in Ghana. The Office of the Vice President, in collaboration with the Ministry of Youth and Sports, has partnered the NFL for the introduction and development of African football, the American football in schools in Ghana. Through this partnership, the NFL has organized its first ever tournament in Africa, in Ghana, and, it's, and also held a special development tournament in Ghana with 10 selected schools participated in, and with over 400 participants out of this, 10 young Ghanaians were selected to represent Africa at the 2023 NFL Pro Bowl in the United States of America, a special tournament which precedes the famous Super Bowl. And this is a remarkable uh, achievement. And we, we are working vigorously to ensure that this uh, new sports is uh, introduced across the country. Remarkable young Ghanaian team which has just been introduced to the sports and the team placed fourth behind the experienced participants such as USA, Australia, and Mexico. The partnership with the NFL continues and later this year, a number of participating schools is expected to increase in the second edition of the development of NFL flag football competition, which will be also select the best players for the next year Pro Bowl in the United States. I want to use this opportunity to thank His Excellency the Vice President for his personal commitment towards this NFL project. Way forward, the finalization of the legislative instrument for the Sports Act 2016 at 934, we are almost done with it, as I said, and the finalization of the anti-doping bill, the finalization of the national sports policy, the preparation of the legislative instrument for the National Youth Authority Act 939, the participation in mandatory local and international congress to promote youth and, and sports development, organization of technical courses, conferences, and workshops in various uh, sporting disciplines, completion and handing over the facilities for the African Games by December 2023. All these facilities, we've gotten assurance from the contractors at the various three sites that by December, some of them will start handing over uh, the facility. By December, uh, all the facilities should be done so that it will give us opportunity to do testing of those facilities before March uh, 2024 when the games will commence. The finalization of the sports policy and also the, co the testing of the facilities, as I've said. Let me use this opportunity to thank Ambassador Minata and your team for coming to inspect the facilities. And uh, yesterday, too, we had a workshop, a very fruitful workshop. And let me use this opportunity to appeal to corporate Ghana and the entire country to get involved in Ghana hosting the entire Africa the 55 nations of our continent, all of them are going to be hosted here in Accra, and we are looking forward to a very fruitful and a very successful uh, African Games. And I have no doubt at all that this Games is going to be one of the most successful and the best ever African Games. Thank you so much.